Well, ladies and gentlemen, I, I guess we're going to get started with our ladder match. Take a look at this. Bob Devil's Court at a height of 6 foot even and a weight of 240 pounds. Here's the real Puritan, Brian Bennett. And now wait, this match is actually a ladder match, which you can see hanging up on that uh, fishing pole, the very oversized fishing pole. And uh, this match is going to be, the winner of this match earns a UCW contract. That's, that's what they're going for, is that new TW contract, and as soon as we get Brian Bennett out here, I will introduce his opponent. Brian Bennett coming out, considers himself to be the real American, waving that American flag over there. I do like to respect Sean, he's quite a bit of a boy, he's a boy. You can see him in his own style there, he's got the American flag spandex. Not sure that's a good look on anybody, but hey. Alright, his opponent. fishing pole you see a backpack that actually contains the contract for UCW U UCW debuts in uh, March 21st I believe it is we got more people arriving I like that people go ahead TP and your friends just because the show started don't mean they can't join us all right well, I'm looking from for the Haas Let's see what he's got to say over here. Are we ready to get this thing underway right now? Yeah, he's Immediate. Ready. 
X Factor across the ring goes right after Brian Bennett. No hesitation right there as he charges him, driving that shoulder into the gut of Brian Bennett. And 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 wait, I just want to point out this is not your typical wrestling ring. Uh, as as you can see, the uh, corner posts have sh have surfboards on them, which is making any throw or move to the corner that much more painful. And it is definitely not the squared circle. We got a pentagon going in there. What is that? Sepia, I don't know. It's got six sides. Fuck it. Whatever that is, all you math hey, people, hexagon. someone tell me. Septagon? Sixagon? Fuck it. It's hexagon. not a circle. That, that's right. We got six sides. Down goes Brian Bennett, X Factor Garcia just charged him. Oh. He is wasting absolutely no time as he takes it to Brian Bennett. Attacking him without mercy. Brian Bennett in a lot of pain right now as Garcia drives that knee into the back of his leg right into that hamstring. Now, nice reversal by Brian Bennett coming over there. Big swing and reversal and he drives that DDT X Factor down. Head driven into the sand. And let me tell you folks, that isn't an imported sand. That sand is not your typical sand. That shit's hard. And Brian Bennett just drove the X Factor Xander Garcia's face right into that sand. And and trust me, that sand is packed down pretty tough. I was in that ring this morning. I, I, trust me, it hurts. It it hurts, huh? Wow. Well, that's just the best way I can describe it. As as the uh, X Factor has Brian Bennett in a side headlock, just wrenching the neck, Brian Bennett. Okay. Brian Bennett now taking. I, I. It's been all X. It has been all X so far in this. Brian Bennett has tried to show a little bit of aggressiveness here, but X is just kind of brushed to the side. Brian Bennett not able to form his own attack. He better do something. Xander Garcia has been nothing but a force in this one so far. Brian Bennett finally showing a bit of offense right there. Xander Garcia down. Brian Bennett trying to turn the table, trying to break that. And he goes right into a figure four leg lock. This may be it. And you can see... X slapping that sand. You can see him in so much pain. And there goes X. He is trying to do reversal. He has rolled him over. And Brian has to let go before his own knee is dislocated from that reversal there by Xander Garcia. X Factor. Xander Garcia back on the attack. Brian Bennett. Back on the defensive. Holy shit! I don't know what that was, but damn, that looked painful. What in the hell was that? Both of these men showing off a little bit right there. Xander Garcia on the receiving end of that one again. That head driven down into that hard pack stance. Brian Bennett breaking that momentum. Brian Bennett trying to gain that upper hand as Xander Garcia has been the one to hold it this entire match thus far. Xander Garcia up, big power slam. Brian Bennett back down. Xander reaching over to grab him. Oh, Bennett tries to go for that move again. One too many times to the well right there. Caught by Xander Garcia. Cut in midair and then power bombed down into that sand. That'll drive the air out of your lungs. And now Brian Bennett is in a lot of trouble. Xander Garcia comes out. Not sure what he's doing. He's in the water right now. And uh, if you notice, Wade, they're having to reach under the water to even get these ladders, which I'm sure will make the ladders just slippery and that much harder to get that to grab that backpack and get the contract to you to UCW. Oh that's what's going I, I had no idea. I kept looking around going where the fuck's the letter? Were they supposed to jump? Now I Under see the rain. I'm glad you knew that dude. I, I had no idea. Yeah I, uh, yeah I came here this morning while they were setting up and uh 
that's actually the uh, point. They're trying to make these ladders um, slippery because one, because it's just to make it that much harder. So there you just can't climb up really quick, and so you just gotta really watch your footing here. So Xander gets his ladder set up, then turns around and goes after Brian. A little bit of strategy here. He's going to go ahead and pound Brian a little bit more, make sure that Brian can't interfere with him as he's going up the ladder. Brian Bennett still trying to recover from that nasty power slam that he received no. at the hands of Xander Garcia. Brian no. Bennett not having any of that eye rake right there. A couple of no. kicks, a couple of punches, and he is driving the X-Factor back towards the ropes. Brian Bennett trying to gain the upper hand on this, trying to break the momentum that Xander has carried all through this match so far. No, it, ooh. I just, no, uh, Brian Bennett just no, going for the no, eyes no. of going for the eyes of the X Factor that will uh, temporarily blind you. As uh, as you notice, oh, and Brian just sends. Um, the X Factor into the pool outside of the rain, he can easily try to climb that very slippery ladder to get that contract right now. All right, Brian Bennett seems to have grabbed the upper hand right now. Kimberly Smith, would you stop spamming us? Brian Bennett seeming to have grabbed the upper hand right now. Xander not sure where he is. Brian Bennett's going. He's going up the ladder. Brian Bennett is going up for it. Brian Bennett unable to stay on that slippery ass ladder. Brian Bennett turn around. He's looking to see what's going on. What is happening out in the water right now? Xander Garcia in trouble. Damian Crooks down in there. He's got a hold of Xander Garcia. Kentucky. Kentucky on top of Xander Garcia. It looks like Brian Bennett had a little plan going on right here. As what the hell? In the water right now, Kentucky and Damian Crooks are teaming up against the X Factor, trying to make sure that Brian Bennett gets this contract. The X Factor doing his best to fight them off in the pool. You can see Damian Crux has X-Factor. Probably Damian Crux being one of the only other men that can match the size of the X-Factor has got him in that full Nelson Kentucky attacking the X-Factor in the water. I don't know what Brian is doing. He can go for it right now. Brian Maybe not the brightest star in the sky. I'm just saying, Jake. Maybe not the brightest wait, star wait. in the sky. There he goes. Brian. He's he is trying so hard to get up that that ladder. Of course, the pool water just makes it very slippery. As he is up there at the backpack, he just has to reach up and grab it off the fish hook. Looks like Brian Bennett may end up with the UCW contract. Xander Garcia unable to do anything as Kentucky is attacking his midsection. Damian Crux has him in that full Nelson. Brian Bennett reaches up. He is opening that backpack. Xander Garcia, no way to get around this. As Brian Bennett grabs the backpack and the contract with assistance from Damian Crux. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard the bell. It has been done. It's official. Your winner for the ladder match and the new UCW contract holder, Real American, Brian Bennett. Well, now that he has the job, maybe he can take me out on that date he teased. I, um, I I missed that. Now that he has a job, what? Now that Brian Bennett has a job, maybe he can take me to that date he teased me about. Well, uh, considering what is going Damian on in there now, to do. Damian Crooks is on Brian Bennett. Damian Crooks, is, he's gone up. The driving revelations right into the packed sand. Damian Crooks, evidently an equal opportunity. 
attacker right here, Kentucky, on top of Brian Bennett. They are both kicking the crap out of Brian Bennett. Doesn't change the fact that Brian Bennett now has a UCW contract. However, Brian Bennett is getting beat down in that ring by Damian Crux and Kentucky. Brian Bennett up, Brian Bennett out, Brian Bennett over the ropes as Damian uh, Crux sends him outside. Uh, did you, uh, did you notice when Brian took that, took that suplex, his back actually landed on the edge of the locks and the sand, oh. Brian Bennett in a severe amount of pain right this moment. Brian Bennett thought, I, I'm guessing, thought he was getting the upper hand here with Damian Crux in Kentucky attacking Xander for him, but now Brian Bennett looks to be paying just as much as Xavier did. Sorry, Xander. Wow, I don't know where Xavier came from. But, eh, that's me shaking off the rust. Well, I... I but... I'm just trying to figure out what Damien's doing. He he helped Brian Bennett get the contract, and then he just attacked him, like, immediately. Maybe Damien Crutch is putting a little fear into Brian Bennett. Or unless this is um, his welcome to UCW. Um, that is definitely possible. Either way, Brian Bennett is paying for the help that Damian Crux and Kentucky gave him. And they're not done. They're just keeping at it. Brian Bennett is taking a brutal beating in the water right now. Damian Crux has him. He's dragging him up out of the pool. Let's hope that uh, people aren't going to get in the way of this. They've got him pulled out of the water. The bell's rung, and you heard Mitch, he was in there ringing the bell like, like they're going to pay attention to it, but you heard him in there ringing the bell. And now they are taking Brian Bennett away. I guess they're clearing the ring for us. I'm good with that. What do you think, Jake? Uh, I... I... Yeah. Um, let's just clear the ladder out. Let's make sure Brian is okay. And... Well, wait, the good news is we have a fun match coming up. We, we do. We do. And I know you are a huge fan I of am. our first wrestler out. So would you yes. please bring Thank out you. our first wrestler for this next match? Well, let's wait. Oh, hey, I guess production is ready. I have been waiting to do this for a long time. So here we go. Introducing first from Orlando, Florida, at a height of five foot six and weighed 120 pounds. She is the queen of hug style, the selfie queen, and the selfie maniac, Chloe Valentine. Look at her, she's got her selfie stick with her. You see it, she's got the selfie stick. Ah oh, yes, my favorite wrestler with her selfie stick. And, I, and I'm glad she has a selfie stick. The last time I saw her with a selfie stick, it got broken in half by the star, Christina Kovac. And well, that didn't... Hi, Chloe! Hi! <laughs> I think she's blowing you those kisses there, Jake. Be still my beating heart. Maybe, maybe the love is... is both ways here, Jake. She's your favorite wrestler, you're her favorite commentator. Well, she definitely looks like she's here to have fun. That is a very colorful bikini there, Chloe Valentine. Chloe is always here to have fun. That's just her personality. What you see is what you get with Chloe Valentine. All right, coming out one of my favorites. 
Weighing in at 135 pounds, she stands 5 feet 7 inches tall. She hails from Vancouver, British Columbia. She is the dancing darling, Erie. Oh, man. And you know what? The last time I saw these two in action was at a charity show a few months ago where they were actually trying to kill each other, which is not either one of their normal personality traits, but it was one hell of a match. It was brutal. Of course, this was going to be a little more lightweight. So, Jake, yeah, I gotta... I'm gonna throw my two cents in here. This is a dance-off page, but I mean, I, that's what's gonna come out of it. And given that Erie is the dancing darling, Chloe, the selfie queen, no doubt. No doubt about that. However, Erie is the dancing darling. I've got to give the upper hand to Erie on this when it comes to the dance. Hey, you know what? Erie might be the dancing darling. She's got some fantastic moves. Trust me, she really does. But I don't think you've seen Chloe dance. I have not. I have not seen Chloe's dancing. I'm just, I'm just throwing my little thoughts in there right now. I may be proven completely wrong here. Well, just wait till you see Chloe dance. I've partied with Chloe. Chloe can dance. All right, then I guess we're going to get to see that here pretty quick, folks. I hope y'all are having a good time. Keep in and your friend. Go ahead, get him on down here. We got plenty of more rest, wrestling for you. Kimberly, I love that you are having a good time, darling. I miss you. All right, Erie over there dancing right now. Looks like Mitch is checking them both out, and, you know, he made sure they didn't come into the ring with any kind of contraband, not that they could hide it anywhere, but he checked. He's a good referee. The bell has been rung. The two women make their way to the center of the ring, and there they go, locking up right off the bat. Nice wrist lock by Erie. Definitely a technical wrestler in all aspects. And you see the athleticism of Chloe Valentine as she does that quick escape right into a beautiful schoolboy roll-up. That was an incredible series of moves right there from Chloe Valentine. Unfortunately, we only got one count out of that. Women back up, locked up again in the center of the ring. And, and, also, uh, and also another thing to point out, both of these women, very fast-paced. That's, well, of course, right now, Erie is uh, trying to make sure Chloe can use her wrist to dance. So I guess there's going to be no break dancing from Chloe if, you know, if this keeps up. Couple of wrist locks, couple of yanking on that shoulder you saw just a moment ago. Erie had Chloe in that mercy hold, trying to drive that pain in there. And here we go. Erie goes for the hook kick. Break this music! No, we're dancing! We got the music! Both of them actually matching dances right now. They're pretty in sync. Music, stop! No, we're oh, here to fight! Chloe, Chloe kick! Valentine. Chloe Valentine, giant drop kick to the head. Eerie, nice leg sweep and a repail by that one. Here we go, Chloe hey, Valentine, oh, athletically rolling bread. Here we go. Oh. No. Erie Only is one count. Quick. You know, Erie was very quick to get out of that and then quickly recover back up to her feet and, and now they're falling in the middle of, of the ring. We've got what looks to be just a straight up Donnybrook going on right there in the center of the ring. The women going at it. Here we go, folks. Chloe Valentine sending Erie into the corner. Chloe falling her in. She was going after something. Erie catches her. Flips her oh. over. Chloe landed on her feet. Oh. Takes a big blow to the face no, by no. Erie for her trouble. No, 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 no. Chloe, uh, Chloe moved with the, uh, with the Matrix looking counter as we go for the command oh. wait. This music. And now let's everybody do the swim as we join the girls in the ring and the dancing. I'm gonna join them too. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna dance here at the coffee. Yeah. As the referee, Chloe, make sure you're dancing, Chloe. The referee, oh wait, hold on. Music stop, Chloe across the ring. Oh, Erie waiting for Chloe up over the top, out of the ring, into the water. 
Erie, the dancing darling, get the upper hand on that one. Music is back, and here we go. That's <laughs> it. I. These two ladies are pretty uh, in sync with their dancing. I guess uh, great minds think alike. And the music has stopped. Chloe vaults back into the ring. Erie's there waiting for her. She goes for the drop kick. Chloe gets caught landing at right end of that. Both feet on her face. She's down. Roll up pin. Erie's got her one. Is all we're going to get down. out of that. I and and I promise, even though the switchboard is in front of us, we have no control over the music. If we did, then they were probably to stay on. I, I don't know who is doing this. Erie up. Chloe is still laid out on that sand. Yeah, I don't know who's controlling the music. It's not us. Yeah, it's definitely not us. As Erie picks up Chloe and uh, Irish strips her into the ropes and goes for Fireman's carry, but Chloe counters out and comes in with the swinging hurricanrana. Chloe Valentine quick counters there, looking good. These women are moving fast. It is an awesome show. Chloe up on her hand, handstand into the leg drop right across the chest of Erie. The dancing darling taking the punishment. Chloe up off the ropes and down she comes. She goes for a quick cover. Here we go. One. And no. Not going to have any part of that right there. Eerie quick to kick out on that one. Chloe Valentine showing her agility as she comes off the ropes with that nice flying move she had. As the two ladies swinging around. As Chloe is is in that corner that's not good as Chloe Erie charge it in Chloe up what is that Jake what did she do there it is it is a uh, corner head scissors which uh, which is actually very very effective it, there's a nerve on the sides of your neck as she turns it into a takedown but no Erie counters and comes in no, Chloe with the top toe. <laughs> These two ladies know each other very well. Action moving very quick here in that ring. These ladies doing the moves, counters left and right. It's as if maybe they've seen each other before, Jake. They have. These two Chloe ladies have pulling had... Erie to her knees right now. These two... Oh, she was close for the overhead front flex, but the music started. And Chloe is <laughs> frustrated. And oh. oh, Erie gets the first one off the swinging knee lift. Down goes Chloe. Erie back, grabbing her by the hair, lifting her. Irish whip into that surfboard. You heard Chloe slam up against that hard surfboard. There's no give there as she hammers into it. Chloe going across the ring. She looks like she's going to go coast to coast. Here comes Erie, coast to coast, running in. Big high knee. Then she's going to bring Chloe out. Quick monkey flip. Out comes Chloe. Erie having the upper hand right this moment. Chloe in a lot of pain. As as Erie waiting patiently on the top of that top rope, Chloe turns around and gets met with with a uh, with the flying arm drag. Chloe is setting up. Oh no, this isn't gonna be good. And oh, off the ropes oh. comes Erie. Beautiful face buster. The city flip face buster. She drives. The face of Chloe into the sand goes for the quick pin. One. Did we even get a one count? No, we don't. The music plays. Didn't even get a one count on that one. And Nick is now into it. Look at him dancing right along with the two wrestling ladies. The two ladies. Music stops. Erie off the ropes. Chloe is still. Chloe is still dancing, but she comes oh! with the next. No, Erie. Yeah, he rolls out of the hook flex. 
Chloe. Looked like Chloe was gonna catch her. Erie too quick for her on that one. That counter was ready. Erie moving in behind her. Erie goes to pick her up for the back suplex. Chloe rolls over. Chloe coming back with the reverse runner. And down goes Erie. Beautiful move by Chloe Valentine. Chloe with the quick cover. We did get a one count on that one. However, Erie's able to push her off real quick. Her production team was very nice into not playing the music that time. So that way Chloe could at least get a pinfall attempt in. And now we see Chloe running down. She is grabbing Erie by the hair, picking her up. Erie looking a little worse for wear right now. Chloe Valentine fresh as a daisy. She picks up Erie. She's got her set up. This does not look good for Erie. Chloe dragging her over to the side. Erie's got something nasty in mind for Erie. Oh, it's she will. Thrown. Rolls she her under the rope. And Erie off the ropes. Here she comes. Nice rope shoot. Big spear. Down goes Chloe. Again off the ropes. Nice leg drop right there by Erie. She's going in. She's got the handstand. Handstand leg drop right across the chest of Chloe Valentine. Erie up on that top rope one more time. Chloe slow to get up. Erie is poised. She is set. She is waiting. Here she comes flying. Looks like she's going for the blockbuster and nobody home, Jake. Ah, uh, you know, there's a reason why they call those high risk maneuvers. And then Chloe comes in with that running elbow right to the jaw of Erie. Can we talk about the toughness of Chloe Valentine, Jake? Oh, I definitely can. You know, I've seen Claire Valentine wrestle in matches that tore the arena apart. And, and I mean that as, as Erie hits the ground, Erie. Erie. Grabbed her by the hair. She's got one, two. It's called the Ron Hay and oh, only a two count. I've seen, uh, I've seen many people, um, Stay down for the three count after that move, but uh, but of course the toughness of Chloe Valentine just kicks out right at two. All right, the ladies, Chloe narrowly escaping that. That was that was very close. Erie bending down to pick her up. Chloe grabbing her head. She's in a lot of pain from that last move. Erie's got her up. Chloe on her knees. Erie is preparing for something. Again, Chloe's thrown into the ropes. Erie there waiting for her. Erie catches her with the LaBelle lock. Oh, this could be oh, no. it. We got a submission hold. Are we going to see a tap out right here, Jake? This is Chloe's move. Erie is using Chloe's own move on, on, on Chloe. Can you imagine the embarrassment if Chloe actually taps out? Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Chloe's going for the Vortex. She's going for I, it. And yes, this is technically breakdancing Chloe as she finishes the oh, Vortex. The Vortex nailed perfectly by Chloe Valentine. Erie is down. Chloe, I, I don't know how she's not dizzy from that, to be honest, Jake. Oh, trust me, she is. She's just very good at hiding, hiding anyone. Oh, as she goes for the uh, back suplex there, but Erie lands on her feet. But Chloe was ready for her with that with that spinning heel kick, and then goes for the ruined selfie. But no, going for the ruined selfie, rolling bridge by Erie. One, two. 
kick uh, out by Chloe Valentine. Here we go. We got yeah. both women up again. Right now, both women facing off. Good God, they're panting. They're huffing. How do they keep going right here? This is incredible stamina on both women's part. Here we got very lucky there. The ruined selfie has finished off many, many very tough uh, competitors. And all oh, the crocodile kick right to the face of Erie as Chloe as Chloe comes off with the ropes. But Erie headbutts Chloe's gut. Oh man, that's gonna take the breath right out of you. Erie with a series of headbutts. She's got the back of Chloe's head. She is holding her. Oh, the big one, the finisher right there as Erie drives her head through that of Chloe. Chloe down on the, almost said the mat, on the sand. As Erie backs off, it looks like Erie comes flying and nobody home again. Uh, Erie, uh, Erie did not reach 88 miles an hour there, I just want to point out. She did, she did not quite get up to that. The flux capacitor did not kick in. What oh, in the hell was a that? A pump Chloe? handle ruined selfie. A pump handle ruined selfie. And here we go with the cover. Have we got it? One, two, and three, three. ladies and gentlemen. Your winner. Can I do it? Go ahead. It's yours. Your winner. The selfie queen, selfie maniac, and the queen of hug style, Chloe Valentine. I've never seen her use that pump handle ruined selfie. That was some smart, innovative offense by Chloe to give her the win. That was a devastating, innovative offense right there, Jay. And now look, folks, we got a little bit of good sports womanship. Chloe comes and helps Erie up. Big high five. Ladies, fantastic match. That was a hell of a thing, folks. If you hadn't been watching this, I, I don't know how you can't be anything. This, this is incredible. These two ladies put on an incredible show for you. Man, and we still got more to come. The Haas in the ring doing his thing. He is shaking that thing. This is not rejected by Erie and Chloe. That's a such phrase. Anyways, Ray, it's been fun. But sadly, my time here is over. Ray, thank you so much for that fun. And uh, for those of you who enjoy the rest of the show, and before I leave, remember that that tomorrow, DCWF presents WrestleFest 12 with the main event being f the the fallen knight uh, Phelan taking on the Black Swan Brook Owens in a hell in a cell for the DCWF Women's Championship. Of course, we got um, RWA tonight. They have their uh, they, they have their free preview tonight at three uh, at three I believe or four, and then and then next weekend is Firefight Relief Australia with the proceeds going to uh, help out Australia, help out the firefighters and the first responders and everyone that has been affected by the bushfires in Australia. That will be next weekend, special two-night event, Saturday and Sunday, and we hope to see you all there. It's going to be at the WPWF Underground Arena. And of course, yes, WrestleFest Mall is at noon tomorrow. Do not miss it. It's great action. Raid, I will see you down the road. But unfortunately, my time here. Jake, thank you for coming in and sitting with me. Have a good one. Be safe, sir. And I'm sure our paths will cross again. All right, All folks. Right. I, I think we're ready to do it. I, I think this is it. I think we're coming up to the next match. Let me double check. It looks like we are a go. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and start bringing them out. Weighing in at 200 pounds. He stands six feet even. His hometown is Strabon Island. He is the Sadie, last Sadie, Irish Sadie, outlaw. Sadie, my lord, Sadie. Baza! Uh, the Your feet may swiftly carry out thy command. So we shall flow river forth to thee, and teeming with souls shall it ever be. And when you patriot feeling, you have to start.
opponent weighing in at 420 pounds, standing six feet, two inches tall. He is from Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. The self-proclaimed legend, Beckett Winter. That is one big boy. Well, hello, Arizona. I might have gotten lost on the way to the bathroom. That that does not surprise me. It was all those mojitos I was drinking. Why don't you just jump in the pool and pee there? I think that's what most people do. That's close. Yeah, and whether it's gross or not, I think that's what they do. True. But doesn't the water turn a color? I don't think so. I, I think that's a myth. I don't think that actually turns a color. I hope not, because I peed in it earlier, I don't know. Oh. No! That's too lazy to get out. Alright, Becky Winter making his way in his largeness towards the ring. That's a very active description. He's a very large guy. Does he get a crown for that? <laughs> I don't know what happened. No. Know that that is a very large man. Oh, oh God! Is he? Oh no! No, no! Did you notice that that Bond and Winlow is in a man? I'm gonna be killed. Why is Bond and Winlow in a man? I don't know, but I'm gonna be thirsty. gone my entire life without you. That is an incredibly white ass. Not that I was looking or anything. <laughs> now, if you were in a key, I'd look at you, but Baza, I, I really don't want to say. What is that? Is that this year's latest fashion, the lime green man king? Is that... If you got a secret weapon, Maybe in Rio, but we're not in Rio, are we? I don't remember where I am. I have no idea where we are. I woke up here. Fucking get me out of town. Somewhere else? Are you drinking? I could have been. I could have been, and I don't know. They told me I was doing calm, but they're okay. I'm hoping they'll let me go after the kill. It's the thing for me, kid. It is that, and... Well, you know, St. Patty's Day is coming up, so I was trying to get prepared for... Jesus Christ, do you see the size of the UCW across Beckett Winner's ass? Oh. Oh, my. Well, he's representing. He's Probably representing. Holy shit, he could be the whole Fed. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I can't follow that up with anything better. Alright, Beckett Winner in his huffing, puffing, inimitable style has made his way over to a corner. Baza Winlow looks to be looking on in disgust. However, Baza has a mankini that is riding up his anus. I don't think Baza gets to judge. And the bell has rung, Baza approaches, Beckett Winter approaches, and Baza is like, no, you're not touching me. Beckett's like, give me a hug. I'm not sure what's going on here. Have you ever met Beckett? He's very into hugs. I, I have actually, in fact, met Beckett. I was actually the commentator for the first Fed that Beckett ever wrestled in, and Baza Winlow has gone into a series of kicks, evidently not really wanting to put his hands on Beckett. Baza Winlow has decided to just kick the crap out of him, evidently. 
And Beckett is just rocking back and forth until finally Baza Winlow brings him to his knees. Baza off the ropes, nice knee lift right there, the V-trigger knee, driving Beckett down to the sand. Baza not one of the crowd favorites, Arizona. I don't know why. I Quick roll up pin there. One. And no. I am... What the hell? That was a kick out that sent Baza Winlow flying out of the ring. What the hell was that, Arizona? Um, it looked like a little air time for Baza. Is, is Beckett Winner really that strong that he can send a man the size of Baza flying through the air like that? It might not be strength, it might just be the size of his foot. Maybe, maybe. It could be that Baza bounced off the incredibly rotund belly of Beckett Winner, who, as you can see, did not have enough stamina to actually come off the ropes and make it across the ring. Instead, Beckett Winner is going to attempt a rope shoot and end up knocking himself down. Baza comes flying over the top rope. Beautiful tope called high low. And again, Baza is sent flying out of the ring. What the hell is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, I got nothing. I got nothing at all. Baza Winlow, the last Irish outlaw, is bouncing off the sand. Or maybe he's bouncing off Beckett. I don't know. That's a man-sized trampoline. That's or an elephant-sized trampoline. <laughs> right? Baza Winlow outside. He is he's looking confused. I don't blame him off the top rope. Here he comes flying in. Big springboard European uppercut. He lays out Beckett winner. Baza Winlow in there right now. Baza slow to get up. Beckett not moving at all. The Haas right on top of it. And there we go. Beautiful spiral leg drop by Baza Winlow. Can he do more moves that kind of keeps his legs together? I don't. I don't think that. I don't think that man can, can be eaten anymore. And there he goes right off the belly once again. A Beckett winner springboarding off into the air, flying out. And the mankini seems to keep getting smaller and smaller. I'm not sure which is worse, the mankini or Beckett's drawers. Shorts, they look like they're being eaten. I, it's not, it's not good for me on either side. Really? You're going to need therapy. I'm, I, I do. I do, actually. Would you give it to me? Can I come lay in on your bed and talk to you? You whisper sweet nothing to make me feel better? Sure, if you pay me 150 an hour. <laughs> no, I'll that's okay. That. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> we'll skip that part. All right, Baza back in the ring. Now he's got that leg up. Says he's a large <laughs> fuck as he does a foot oh. DDT and Beckett winner releases... The, I, I don't even know how to describe it. Okay, folks, what, what happened was he farted, but really what just happened was an incredibly noxious cloud of disgust exited Beckett Winner's body and I think overwhelmed Baza Winlow. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm glad we're up here. I'm glad the wind is blowing that way, although we didn't lose fans because it's, it's going to hit them. 
Well, I mean, you can only jump on a man a so many times before he releases something. That's, uh... That's unfortunate. I, I really? really don't even... Can you win by fart? Is that is that something? Do we have a rule book on that? I don't think there's ever been a precedent for it. They might set it today. Oh, God. That is disgusting. I'm really, see, that is, I'm, I'm glad we're up here, Arizona, honestly. And, and if it comes this way, I, I'm tossing you into it and I'm running. That's cool. I, I don't have to outrun the gas. I just have to outrun you, Arizona. That's what it boils down to. I will sacrifice you. <laughs> oh, that is unfortunate out there in the in the in the ring there. I don't know what to what to make of this. I do we have some level five mop gear? Is the CDC present? Those do steps are not easy. Baza Winlow is making his way back in. I, he's got something in his hand. I hope it's a fan. Boston Winlow has come back. It looks like he's carrying a bucket of chicken. I don't... You can eat after that, Boston? You're a badass. What is... Mick Hasselhoff has made his way back into the ring. Why? Why is he got a bucket of chicken? What is going on here? What are we trying to do? I don't understand. That anybody could actually eat after what has just happened in that ring. He might have a steel stomach. Hey, you know what? I hope something is steel on him because them butt cheeks being eaten by that man can he I, I don't even really I could have skipped this whole thing I'm I'm at a loss for words right here Beckett winner is laid out Mitch Hasselhoff is in the ring Baza Winlow is outside the ring. Now he's come in. There he goes, sliding under the ring. He is back in the ring with Beckett Winter, the most vile human I have ever seen. And how the hell did Beckett Winter kip up? How did that big-ass body nip up like that? He went charging after Baza. Baza moved out of the way, didn't even duck. Baza simply stepped aside knowing that there was no way Beckett Winter was going to be able to change his direction. Beckett went sliding across the ring. Beckett up. Baza up. The two men facing across the ring at each other. Now Beckett Winter is shouting out. Power up. Here comes Baza charging in. Big running high knee as he nails Beckett Winter. Beckett slumping down into the corner. Baza back to the wrestling now. Beckett Winter calling for some kind of move and then getting shut up by the knee of Baza Winlow, knee off nuts. the ropes, back into ah! it, Baza, <laughs> Baza slamming into Beckett Winner, D's nuts in his face, and now Beckett Winner laid out, Baza Winlow braving through the fumes, Baza yes. Winlow backing no, up, looks like he's her. going towards the ropes, Beckett Winner placed just where he wants him, right there in the center of that, what do we call the six-sided? Thing. I don't even remember. Anyway, it's got six sides. Baza Winlow's up on the rope. Probably it's the only place you can get clean air. Baza coming off. He lands right on the stomach and bounces. It's a fucking bouncy house right there in the center of the ring. Baza Winlow catapulted out of the ring one more time. Please don't do that again, Baza. <laughs> oh, wow. This has to be one of the best matches I have seen in a long time. Baza Winlow back in after having to climb up out of the water one more time. Baza Winlow still not getting it that Beckett's belly is a bouncy one. All right, and 
and there we go. Boz and Winlow is going in. He's reaching down, grabbing the leg again. Last time this happened, it did not work out for anybody close to that ring. Boz and Winlow, the heel hook. Beckett Winner screaming like a child in pain as Boz and Winlow holds onto that heel. Beckett Winner in trouble right now. Wrath, nice to see you. Folks, we still got plenty of wrestling coming for you, so don't be shy. TP and your friends. Apolly, good to have you here. Divine Trouble, nice to see all four of you. Please Shepherd enjoy find the seat for the and watch. No more gas. Arizona, please don't invite him up here. I won't. Thank you. And by him, I assume you mean both of them. Yes, yes I do. Baza with a little extra, a little curricular, extra curricular activities going on. After the bell has rung, Baza Wendell, a little bit of punishment there for Beckett Winner, the last Irish outlaw, making sure to leave a statement as he makes his way from the ring. If you take away anything from this match, it is don't underestimate the power of side chicken. I, I don't want to take anything away from this match. I'm afraid that, that our fans are actually going to have to take away illness from this match. I really, if that cloud hits any of them, I'm not sure that we're covered for that. Um, yeah, they should probably go to... And has disappeared under the water. Arizona, you look damn good. How are you? I'm doing wonderful now that I'm no longer lost trying to find the bathrooms. <laughs> well, we are so glad you can find your way back here. Let me go ahead and start bringing them out. From a hometown of homegrown USA, weighing in at 135 pounds, she stands 5 feet 8 inches tall. She is none other than the bowl smoking queen herself, Honey Blunt. See, now this is a cloud that I would be more than happy to stand right now. Because let me tell you, Honey Blunt, that girl knows her bowl. Purple A playing to bring her in. I love it. Oh, yes. I want to see your bikini, honey. I do, too. Go on, crowd. Make some noise. Let everybody know you want to see honey blood this bikini. That's right. This is the bikini match. How very exciting and arousing is this? We are PG, I remember. I will keep it kind of that way. Honey Blunt, ready to show off that bikini. Are we gonna see it? Okay, evidently I'm gonna go ahead and bring out her opponent. Weighing in at 125 pounds, standing 5 feet 4 inches tall, she hails from Brooklyn, New York. She is Candy Perez, and look at Honey's to describe it. Being cocky is just a part of my bob. I might stop the hollering and pop my collar. Uh -huh. Maybe the trying to get honey to agree to go back to his place with him after the match. Love attention when I'm passing by. See, I show a little cleavage and he catches eye. Just a 
thought of a meeting. I was outside soaking. Dude standing up here, mouth wide open. I walked over, you? look at my lips. I'm kinda just in my switching my hip. Honey, boy, I, I tell you what, that became a hell of a lot more fun to look at than that goddamn man key he's already. Actually, Bowser has come out to show me his man key anymore. I don't want to see Bowser's man key with I don't want to see any more of Bowser. Why is Bowser out? Why is, why is Bowser out? He's gonna make sure that you saw real good what he's wearing. Please make sure Bob doesn't come too close. He up here. He's got a real good fit. 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 He's got a Inside the rain, honey, he's doing her dance. By the windows over there doing his dance. Folks, he's got all the dancing going on. He's still free to join in. Paul Henry, nice to see you. All right, Candy Perez has made her way into the ring. Now we got both ladies. The Hoss will be checking them both out. Make sure nobody's bringing anything into the ring they shouldn't have. Okay, there's the bell. Candy Perez waits there in the center. Honey, he's thinking about it now. Honey's moving in. Nope, she's backing off. Candy's like, come on, let's get some. I don't think that's a bikini. Is that a bikini? I don't think that's a bikini. Come on. That's a top and booty short. Danny Perez, Honey Blunt's lock up there in the center of the ring. It's still two pieces. I'm just saying. That's a top and booty short. I was all excited to see a bikini. See candy in the bikini because look at those curves candy yes. and honey locked up in the center of the ring going back and forth a little shoving back and forth as the two ladies try to vie for an upper hand here <laughs> Kimberly love you too gosh I missed you all right quick wrist lock nice technical move there by candy Perez Swiftly moving that into a hammer lock. You can hear Honey Blunt shouting out that she wants her to chill. Honey is Honey is the most chill wrestler we have, and is it any wonder? Nice reversal there by Honey Blunt as she comes up behind. Mitch asking quickly if. Candy's ready to give. Candy not wanting anything to do with that. Beautiful move there as down goes Candy. Honey Blunt's back up quickly. Honey Blunt rope shoot. She comes flying in. Candy leaping over her. Landing a nice kick to the gut right there by Candy Perez. Honey Blunt doubles over. Candy Perez quickly into a wrist lock. She has got that tweak down on Honey Blunt. Honey going for that acrobatic escape right there, showing off her agility into that reversal takedown by Honey Blunt and a nice stomp to finish it off. You notice Honey Blunt is in the bare feet, the pretty pink and aqua. That is aqua, right? Is that the color? Is that what that color is called, aqua? I think so. That works for me. Aqua Bikini, nice moves right there by Honey Blunt's big splash, and here we go, one, two, no, no, just a two count right there, as Candy Perez breaks out of it, Candy Perez quick to roll to get up,
Honey Blunt's over there at her. Honey Blunt's with the drop kick. Candy Perez over the top rope. Candy Perez right into the water. Big splash right there as Honey Blunt drives her over the top rope. Honey up on the rope. She is showing off, letting the crowd get a good look at her bikini. What do you think of her bikini? Are we talking about the same person? Because I'm still staring at Honey's ass. I bet. I'm sorry. That, that's who we're talking about, so that pretty much says what you think about her bikini. And right now, I'm staring at the front, Honey Blunt, with that beautiful peak in aqua. Because I, I learned that word today. The word is aqua color there in that bikini. Otherwise, I don't I think I can think. Honey Blunt's doing a bit of dancing. Candy Perez finally up out of the water. She comes climbing back into the ring right now. Mitch Hasselhoff, the Hoss, is in there waiting for him. Honey's asking the Hoss to check on Candy. Arizona, it's damn good to have you here with me. It's damn good to be here with you, Wade. I do hope you find your way over to my club. That would be the Escape Club, folks, all 80s, all the time. Yes, shameless promotion of my club. Tonight, we are starting the party at 6 p.m. SLT, and it will go until 10. We got DJ Ducky and host Kitty Kate, along with DJ Cooter and his host, the lovely Holly. All right, the two ladies are back into it, and now Candy looks like she's had just about enough of this stuff as she pummels Honey Blunt right there in the sand. She is driving her into the sand. Candy not letting up a bit of that Brooklyn coming out in her right there, Arizona. Nobody messes with the Brooklyn, girl. Evidently not, and if you do, you pay like Honey Blunt just did. Candy Perez... I think she got a little serious right here. Nice, beautiful snapmare as over her shoulder goes Honey Blunt, Honey down onto the sand. Candy Perez coming in right behind her, wasting absolutely no time, not giving Honey Blunt a chance to catch her breath. Candy Perez right in behind her. She's got her by the hair, picking her up. You can see Honey Blunt kicking, trying to get out of that as she is being drugged by Candy Perez. Candy, nasty, front face flip drive thingy, face into the sand, I forget what it's called, but damn, it looks painful. That's a face buster, that's what it is, it's a face buster. I get all excited, forget what these things are called. I'm still staring at honey. I, I know you are. I know you are, Arizona. And I don't blame you. If I could just be staring at, at Honey, I would be too. However, if you look at Candy on her butt, it actually says ass and lip. I think she wants me to come kiss her butt. I think that's what that says. Oh, it actually says kiss my ass on her pants. If you look close enough. And I would Oh, it does. Ass. It does. Candy reaching down, picking up Honey Blunt. Folks, I hope y'all are enjoying this, the presentation of In Deep, the second wave. We are having a blast up here. Now we see Candy Perez grabbing Honey Blunt. She's got her in that headlock. Looks like she's setting her up for something. Honey may be in trouble right here as Candy goes trying to lift her. Here she goes. She's got her locked in. Beautiful. Quick suplex right there. And Honey driven into that sand, that hard part, part, part fucking really way, packed sand. <laughs> There we go. That's the word we're looking for. I keep losing them. I'm staring at two beautiful women in a ring. Fighting. I, think I, I can't help. Now we're going for the pin. We got a one count right there before Honey goes ahead and kicks out. Shoulder up. Legs up. Candy Perez not able to keep her down. A little bit tongue-tied over here right now, Arizona. I've been tongue-tied this entire match. So I don't blame you. I appreciate the vote of confidence there, Arizona. All right. Looking at her. Candy's reaching down. She is picking up Honey Blunt one more time. Arizona, big forearm smash across the back. Down goes Honey Blunt one more time, driven into the sand. 
Arizona's over there talking at the Haas. I wonder what she's got to say to him. Nope, now Candy is... Did I say Arizona was doing that? I meant Candy. Yes. Candy, I got Arizona on the brain now. See? That's what happens. Pretty girl sits next to me. I lose it. Candy Perez. Showing off for the crowd, and now she has got her. Oh, my God. Submission oh. move, and Honey Blunt is caught. Honey Blunt lifted. Mitch the Haas is checking on her. Honey Blunt in so much pain. You can see the agony on her face as Candy holds her up easily. Powerful, though small, as she holds Yay! Honey Blunt there in that submission move. The Haas is begging her not to tap. I don't understand what that's about. Maybe the Haas was enjoying that view right there. Well, she did have Honey bowed over, so... Yeah, she did. She did have that. I mean, Honey was on full display there for the Haas. He was taking full advantage of it. Honey in trouble right now. Candy definitely having the upper hand here in this wrestling match. Playing it up for the crowd, a little bit of teasing, a little bit of taunting right there by Candy Perez, the Brooklyn girl, letting everybody know that she is the real deal as she is in this ring with Honey Blunt. I think Honey's going to have to smoke at least two bowls after this one's done. Candy Perez up against the ropes. Honey Blunt comes flying off. Candy Perez meets her right there in the middle. The two women clash in the center of the ring. No, Honey Blunt, quick move, rolls under and off the ropes, here she comes flying back, and she nails Candy Perez, she comes flying off those ropes, Candy Perez wasn't ready for it, caught by surprise, got a face full of honey right there, and down Candy Perez went, I would kill for a face full of honey right now, Me and too. right there, Honey Perez, Honey Blunt, Big butt drop, it looked like, right into the chest of Candy Perez. Honey picking her up. Candy sent off into the surfboard. Honey going across. She is looking at her. And do we have a little coast-to-coast -coast action? Honey, a little pirouette there. And she is showing off. Nice curtsy. Oh, here she comes right across that big acrobatic move. Nails Candy Perez. Candy Perez drops. Honey Blunt staying right on top of her. Evidently, Honey did not appreciate the punishment that Candy Perez had handed out earlier. Payback's a beat. Oh, I don't like censoring myself. Don't censor yourself, not around me, and there we go, we got the pin! Have we got it? Come on, Haas, one, two! I think Haas was a little slow on that, that could have been a three, Honey Blunt's had her. I think Haas was, uh, I, I, honestly, I can't blame him, I think he was just sitting there staring at, at the two. It is a bikini match, after all, uh, all, all goods are on display for your viewing pleasure right now. Honey Blunt's breathing a little heavy right there. Candy slow to get to her knees. Honey moving out of the way. She moves across the ring. Looks like she's got a little something in mind as Candy Perez comes up. Honey Blunt comes charging in. Looks like she is going for... What in the hell was that? Was that a head scissors, spinning head scissor thing that took Candy Perez down? Honey Blunt's got her down. Candy Perez being pinned. One, two, and Candy shoulder up. No three count on that one. That means we get to stare at that butt a little longer, Arizona. Yeah, what? Why are you damning at me? What did I do? I'm just calling the match. Looks like we got a roll over pin. We got a rolled up. One, two.
Only a two count again. Why am I getting in trouble? Two count again as Kenny Perez is not able to close the deal. Honey Blunt's not quite ready to be pinned. Arizona drops offline. Hope you come back, Arizona. And look at this. We got another one going on right here. Haas down quick. He's going for it. And not sure. Here we go. Looks like Honey's in a lot of pain. Candy Perez reaching down. She's got no love loss, evidently, for the Honey one. As Candy Perez picks her up to her knees, it looks like Candy's giving her a little talking to. Nice big slap across the face. Right into, look like a hook heel kick. From this perspective, and Honey's head snaps back. Candy Perez grabbing her up again. Candy Perez sending Honey off into the ropes. Candy Perez looks like she's got something in mind for Honey as Candy Perez goes across from her. Candy Perez comes charging across Candy, showing off the somersault, the cartwheels, the flippity doos, and into the corner she comes, only to be stopped by Honey Blunt as a knee is raised and Candy Perez runs right into it. Candy Perez being taken. She is being dragged out of that corner. Honey Blunt's being dragged out of that corner by Candy Perez. And here we go, swinging neck breaker. This could be it for the honeyed one. Nasty, vicious move right there by Candy Perez. Honey Blunt's in a lot of pain. Candy Perez standing over there. Maybe a little bit of glowing going on. She comes in rolling nice drop right there by Candy Perez. You can hear the air being whooshed out of Honey Blunt's lungs as she takes that blow right there. Candy Perez quick to her feet. You hear Honey not overly happy about the boob smashes right there. Candy Perez not overly concerned about what Honey's happy about or not happy about. Roll up pin. Here we go. She's got the leg hook. She's got the shoulders down. One, two. Here it is. No. Only a two count. One more time. Unable to finish the deal right there. Honey Blunt's not quite ready to give up the ghost. Candy Perez looking a little frustrated. She can't get that three count. Honey Blunt's pretty happy she can't get it. You know, I imagine this is the kind of problem that, that all women have around Baza Windler. They just can't finish. Baza can't get it done. Both women up right now. It's the mankini, Baza. Candy Perez driving Honey Blunts back down to the sand one more time. Candy reaching down, picking up the foot. Looks like she's dragging Honey Blunts across the ring. Looks like she's getting her set up, positioning her. This could prove brutal for Honey Blunts right here. Elbow drop to the inside of the thigh. Candy off the ropes, Honey Blunt's rolling away, nobody home, Candy landed hard on that sand, 
taking more punishment than she was about to deal as Candy, as Honey Blunts rolls out of the way. Honey quick to move in. Looks like she may have some advantage right here. Honey moving in. Quick kick. Quick stomp there by Honey Blunt. Reaching down, grabbing the girl by her hair, lifting her up. Honey Blunt has her set up. Driving her knee into the gut of Candy Perez. Honey Blunt coming off the ropes herself. Looked like she got the spin and Hurricane Rana laid in and down goes Candy Perez. Honey Blunt's not quite ready to finish this one. She picks her back up instead of going for the pin. Honey Blunt's moving in. Candy Perez countering. Looks like a kick to the nethers. The yum yum abuse has happened. Candy Perez, a little low blow there. Candy Perez grabbing her, dropping her. And now Honey. Catching Candy off guard again. However, Honey is grabbing that yum yum. Evidently that strike too. Did a little bit of damage right there as Honey keeps grabbing it. Looking like she's in a bit of pain, and here we go. She's got candy suspended. We drop her hard. That will mess up your spine. Roll her over. She's down for the pin. Honey blunts on top. One, two, and three, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner via pinfall of the bikini match, Honey Blunts. And now it's time to smoke a bowl of three. Or another drink. And welcome back, Arizona! I have to go get another drink. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. And there's going to be hitting the yum yum. I need drinks. Right? That, that kick to the yum yum. That, that, that yum yum. It looks like we got some good sports womanship going on again out there. Have you noticed that, that the women seem to be willing to congratulate each other, give a little high five, maybe in this case they'll smoke a bowl together, meanwhile the men just storm off like somebody stole their candy? It's a man thing. No offense. It ain't no none taken. I guess men are assholes. I don't know how y'all put up with it. Very carefully. Club later, baby. Can I use cheesy pickup lines? By all means, I love cheesy pickup lines. <laughs> Your legs must be tired, darling, because you've been running through my mind all day. Oh, that is so cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, folks, I think we're ready to move on to the main event before I get fired in the middle of the show. <laughs> Here we go from a hometown of Seattle, Washington. 
at a height of 5 feet 6 inches tall. She weighs in 125 pounds. She is Beth Rogers. And remember, folks, this is our slam dunk match. The person to have dunked the other the most times before time expires will be declared the winner. Doesn't matter about the pins. Doesn't matter about the submissions. All that matters is the dunking. All right, Beth Rogers is out there now. And I think it's time to bring out her opponent for this main event. Beth was accompanied by her brother, Angelo J. Shot. There you can hear Beth Rogers music playing. Okay, here we go. Her opponent. Weighing in at 146 pounds, she stands 5 feet 8 inches tall. She is from Okinawa, Japan. She is Kamikaze Kyoko. for you as Kyoko stands there and displays herself and damn I, I'm looking but I gotta look at this I gotta read this off to you for the slam dunk match match has a set time limit of 15 minutes there is no disqualification no count outs no rope breaks knocking the opponent into the water by any means scores a point any means means any means for all of these were score point as long as the wrestler is submerged into the water as a result. The wrestler with the most points will be declared the winner when the time runs out. You got the rules. We got the match. The bell has rung. The ladies are facing off. It's time, baby. Come on. It'll be fun. Right off the bat, Beth Rogers goes charging in. Chioka there waiting for her. Beth Rogers comes charging in. Chioka grabbing her looks like we got a lockup chioko is pushing beth rogers back towards the ropes beth rogers dropping down quick move right there nice drop toe hold down goes chioko good move by beth rogers right there kind of surprise move almost got chioko in the water good job beth Beth coming off the rope. She comes flying in. Nice drop kick to the back of the head. Send in Chioko over the top rope. First point. Beth Rogers as Chioko goes full on into the water. Big splash. Chioko got that bikini wet this time. Chioko comes climbing back out. Beth is going, charging in, looking for another a second point. Well, quick by Beth Rogers as she I, I can't even as she connects with Chioko. Chioko down into the water. Chioko looking a little frustrated. Why are you laughing, Arizona? Um, because it was funny. That was funny. <laughs> Somebody's laughing. All right. Kimberly, what is the problem? Okay, so, Chioko back in. Beth not able to get her out a third time. Chioko comes flying in. Kimberly, you know we're here to have fun, baby. <laughs> I'm going to talk to Honey and see if we can get her an invitation to smoke some. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Beth taking a lot of punishment right now. Chioko goes to beat Nodder. Beth driven back into the ropes. Chioko wasting no time as she knows she's two points down. She's got to get him back. 
Big pickup, big drop across the top rope right there by Chioko. <laughs> Beth Rogers down, Chioko waiting for her to get up, Chioko two points down right now. Beth slow to get to her knees, Chioko up there waiting for her. Beth up on the rope, Chioko comes flying across, big uppercut and over the top rope, down into the water, Beth Rogers. Big splash there as Chioko gains her first point. Now we got two to one in favor of Beth. Chioko showing off for the fans. Got her hands lifted high. Beth Rogers comes up sputtering. Makes her way. Why is Jay shot over there? Beth's brother maybe over there to help her. I don't know. No disqualifications in this match. Maybe there's a reason Beth brought her brother down with him. With her. For support. Family is good support. Very good support. The family that wrestles together stays together, right? Yep. Something like that. Beth Rogers in there quick. She begins to hammer on Chioko. Chioko staggered right there. Beth off the ropes. Big lariat driving Chioko down to the sand. Beth Rogers staying right on top of her. Beth again up two to one right now. Beth in behind Chioko. Oh, nasty move by Beth Rogers, the bank breaker. Chioko on the receiving end of that. Beth Rogers sends Chioko into the ropes. Beth coming off. Big rope shoot right there. She comes flying in. Beth Rogers waiting for her butt. Chioko not able to stop it as Beth drives her shoulder right into the gut of Chioko. Now Beth reaching down, picking up the leg. She is trying to push her over. Beth going for that third point. Chioko holding on tight. Not wanting to go over the top rope. And Beth. Since Chioko over into the water one more time. I don't know how much time we've got left in this match right now, but if we were to stop it right here, Beth Rogers would be winning three to one. Somebody's got a potty mouth worse than mine. <laughs> Chioko over in the water. Beth Rogers standing over there at the side taunting her. Oh, Chioko reaches in, grabs the ankles, yanks her down, and Beth pulled into the water under the ropes. Chioko, two points. Chioko quick to roll in as Beth comes up sputtering one more time. Oh, look at the flame in that redhead's eyes. Beth is not amused. You done pissed her off now. Chioko back in that center waiting for Beth up on the side. Beth comes flying over. Here she comes. Oh, she catches her. The blockbuster and down goes Chioko. Is it just me or is Chioko's swimsuit kind of sexy? It is. Okay. Damn. I was just making sure. <laughs> Precisely. Chioko taking a lot of punishment at the hands of Beth Rogers. I don't know what's in the Beth right now, but man, she is vicious in this ring tonight. Chioko stopping that crap roll. They were trying to break that momentum. Beth not having any part of it. Beth going at it. These two ladies rolling around in the sand. You know what? If there's any blood spill, this may uh, th this may become less of a PG thing and more of an R-rated. I don't know. The way these two ladies are rolling around in the sand like that. <laughs> Arizona, you'd be yes. nice. I, I will sing nice.
<laughs> for a second. Beth comes charging in. Chioko grabbing her by the throat, picking her up, tossing her over the top rope. We are tied, ladies and gentlemen. Hell hath no fear, like a redhead scorned. Yeah, unfortunately, the redhead's the one that got thrown into the water. Well, I guess Chioko's yes. kind of redhead. She's streak head? Yeah, but she's getting know. back up. Oh, Chioko comes running over, going for the dive. Beth drops. She rolls under. Chioko goes over. That still counts, ladies and gentlemen, even though Beth didn't touch her. Four to three. And Chioko shouting out, evidently she landed on one of the ladders in the water. We're going to blame Botha for that. I was going to blame Brian Bennett. I didn't say it was his fault. I said we're going to blame him. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Chioko on the outside, Beth in the center. We are running out of time, folks. Remember, this is a 15-minute match. That's all the time they got to get as many dunks as they can right now. Beth Rogers is up 4-3. to three. Chioko comes running in. She attacks her. She drives her into the sand. She begins to pound her. Beth Rogers taking a beating right there by Chioko. Chioko with the big whip. Beth Rogers into the ropes. Beth Rogers collapses. Looks like maybe she slammed into that surfboard and fell. Meanwhile, Angelo J. Shot Rogers is over there watching his sister take this pounding. Chioko picking her up, and there is no even. It's just a flat-out wrestling move as she picks up Beth Rogers and slams her over the top rope, drives her down into that water. Beth Rogers hitting it hard. And I believe we are now tied four to four, ladies and gentlemen. Time is running out. Beth Rogers down under the ropes. Chioko there waiting for her. She's poised. Beth comes in. Chioko goes after her. Five-minute warning, you heard it, and then they lock up. The two women locked up. They've got five minutes. The score is tied four to four. Who are we going to have come out on top in this one? Oh, Chioko goes for the suplex. Beth reverses it. Big move right there by Beth Rogers. The reversal into a monkey flip over the top rope. Chioko out into the... No. No, onto the bridge right there. Beth cussing up a storm right there as Chioko does not get wet. Again, something women say around Baza. You're going to punish Baza for that mankini forever, aren't you? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. For exposing me to that, for the damage that he has done to my psyche. Yes. Beth Rogers reaches down, picking up Chioko. Please don't take it off, Baza. Please don't take it off. Leave it all, Baza. Chioko up. Beth up. Chioko looking a little bit woozy right there as she staggers. Beth Rogers driving into them on that bridge right there. Very precarious situation. Time ticking away. Both women just going at each other. Blows traded. And Chioko comes out on top, did, was that? Ah! 60 seconds, 60 seconds, big spin and hit. The Europe come, and down goes Beth Rogers. She goes off the bridge, she's into the water. Five to four, Chioko, we're down, it's almost time. Angelo J shot over there to help Beth up. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Eight again? Mitch, really? Eight again? 
five, four, three, two, two, two and a half, one, zero, ladies and gentlemen, your winner, by a score of five to four, Kyoko! Excellent match, ladies. Excellent match. And what is that all about? The best brother over there talking trash to Kyoko? And Kyoko not having any part of it. Should have thought better of that there before you went over and did that, given that that woman just kicked your sister's ass, and I'm pretty sure your sister's been kicking your ass your entire life. Just saying. Get right on it, Kyoko. Get right on it. gonna do it that's gonna bring us to the end of our show ladies and gentlemen a little reminder we got the 